If you've ever wondered if you should step up from your cell phone for doing vlogs to a real camera, hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, also get down in that comment section. Tell me what you think. What is going on YouTube? One of the extra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today's video is all about the Sony ZV-1. This is the camera that I use to record my vlogging. And what this video is going to be about is just some quick settings that I use for the ZV-1 to optimize for vlogging. And one other little piece that I use to make my shots just a little bit better. Now, if you really want a complete, full in-depth review of the Sony ZV-1, all of its capabilities and everything that it can really do, check out Film Alliance. This guy is the person that I actually watched the most when I was setting up my Sony ZV-1 and he describes everything in great detail, goes through all the different menus, shows you why certain settings are better than others. Check him out, Film Alliance. Great, great filming content, especially using the ZV-1. All right, so let's get into the settings a little bit. Let's set up at 30 frames a second, and I have the shutter speed at 1 60th. The rule of thumb here is you wanna have double or have whatever they call it, whatever your frame rate is. So if you're shooting at 60 frames a second, you wanna do one over 120. Shooting 25 frames a second, you can do one over 50. Just keep that rule in mind whenever you want to set a camera up specifically. Now the f-stop, this is how much light you're letting in, your aperture. And what's cool is, this little dial here, you just click down and you can change those two. And I like that, it's very quick and easy. The other thing is, all these buttons can be pre-programmed to do something else, like the center button your ND filter and what's cool about this camera is it has a built-in ND filter and it is super helpful when I shoot outside I mean it is insanely helpful it works so good see how there's those stripes those are zebra stripes and what those do is tell you what is overexposed at the moment so what's cool is you go to ND filter they go away you see each one of these when you hit the function you can set whatever you want in these blocks and I really like that because say you want a different picture profile and that's what I'll go over later when I show you how I color grade this particular footage. If you don't want to do a memory recall, you have all these different menus to choose from. If you don't want to do anything to the camera, you just want to point and shoot and go. These two settings, the intelligent auto, intelligent auto, both of these will do a fantastic job for whatever you want. So I got the ZV-1 as pretty much a step up from my phone and the GoPro Hero 7 because it was very hard to get what I wanted out of the camera. And this thing adds some really cool features that make vlogging and doing the types of videos that I do a little bit easier. First and foremost, there is this little horseshoe right here and you can slide whatever microphone you want right there and it works great or like I have the road wire this goes that you put the receiver on here and it works just fine on top of that this fits on a gimbal really well because it's not that big and it's also not that heavy the lens isn't crazy long because it's integrated obviously when you step up to the full body cameras and you have those detachable lenses that's kind of something you have to think about when you want to use a gimbal. The other thing I really liked about this camera is it has a three and a half millimeter jack that you can plug in obviously for your microphones and whatnot because some other cameras they need some sort of adapter like a USB-C or something along those lines. The battery life on this camera is not bad at all. It, I've had it run for most of the day where I do my long shoots where I'm reviewing something and it ha handles it pretty well. One thing I will note is it does tend to overheat and here in Arizona <laughs> this is kind of a hard camera to work with in the heat but if you bring it inside where it's a little cooler it works much better. The other thing I liked about the Sony ZV-1 is that it does shoot in 4k. Now the only thing is it only goes up to 30 frames a second which I kind of had to learn the hard way because I was shooting at 24 frames and it didn't match up at all with the 60 frames 4K I was shooting with the GoPro. So when you go to 30, you can mix it up a lot better. And I'll just kind of show you guys how that works in another video. One of the main features I really liked about the ZV-1 that I noticed some of the other cameras in the same category didn't quite have, the autofocus. The autofocus on this camera is incredible. There's my hand, there it goes, there's my hand, there it goes. It's just, it works so well. And when I'm recording inside of a car or something along those lines, I need it to react quickly because when you go from, say, you're riding in a passenger seat 
and you go to pan up from the dash, what usually happens is the dash beam focus should go up and then everything out in front of the car is going to be blurry for just a little bit longer than you like. The ZV-1 goes from the dash being clear straight up to being able to deal with the light and everything else in front of it and clear up the picture beautifully. So the last thing I'm going to talk about on this camera is the wide angle lens because as I said, when you set the active, it doesn't work too well at arm's length because it crops in way too far. So you put on this sweet wide angle lens, which does add a little bit of weight. So if you try to use a gimbal, you're gonna have to definitely rebalance it. But this new lens can get further away from you and get a kind of cool depth of field look you'd like when you're, when you're holding a camera away from you. That way it really gets the face well. And if you don't like the curves that it adds to the outside edges of your image, you can just crop those out just enough. And it's a beautiful shot. But this is the camera I use, the Sony ZV-1 for all my vlogging. Uh, it does have some limitations. The 4K at 30 frames a second kind of makes it so my B-roll isn't quite where I'd like it to be. You know, it's all my movements and I like 60 frames a second because I like to speed ramp things, I like to slow stuff down. For basic shooting and your general vlogging or my setups where I do reviews and this is thing that stays on a tripod, it is absolutely perfect. So if you guys are looking for a camera that isn't insanely expensive, that isn't quite a full body and you want to learn more about how to make better footage and how to make better content based off of the camera that you use, this is a solid choice. So I hope you guys enjoy this Tech Tuesday. These are the cameras that I use. I'm gonna go over how I color grade this camera next time. So with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out.